Hello Aquarius, it's Lynn from Tinker Tarot. I'm here to do your November 2023 tarot and cartomancy reading. We got a little of both. And so what I do is I shuffle and my intention really is to only lay out three row, like three in each row. But when I get looking at sometimes I wanna see more, you know? And so in this case, you got five Aquarius. And then the cartomancy is wherever the cut is, that's how many you get, you know? So, um, sometimes I'll include my shuffle and my cut and all that and show you. Uh, you've seen it a million times before. I just tried to cut it shorter a little bit, so, you know. But anyway, Aquarius. When I was shuffling, I always wait for a jumper card, you know, something that indicates that it's time, you know, a sign. And yours is the magician. So this is the underlying energy. And, you know, it makes me think of choices, right? Because the magician has the capability of manifesting what they want. They have a lot of skills a lot of experience and and some choices right now and so they're they're um wa you're wanting to manifest something and it's definitely possible at this time the energy is strong okay and don't forget we're in between these two, two eclipses right now as i'm recording this this is for november but i'm recording this um what day is it 24th or something like that 25th and we're in that gateway time here, right? Eh? So there's a lot of um, energy for manifesting right now. If you can try and take the most positive of this energy, you know, you could do a lot with it. So in the cartomancy, okay, so this one kind of was my indicator, you know, to, to stop shuffling. And when I did, this one went flying into the air. And so this is a time card, two days, two weeks, two months, okay? And this is also something to do with a passionate meeting that you're going to have, all right? But you don't feel right about it or there's something bugging you about it you know there's something unhealthy perhaps about this passionate meeting you're gonna have okay so um in the recent past here in the tarot in this top line that you see you have the chariot the four of rods the nine of pentacles the Two of Pentacles, and the Eight of Swords. So first of all, I saw these three cards, Chariot, Four of Rods, Nine of Pentacles. And so f for me, the Chariot is, and this is in the past, okay? You've been pulled in two directions, you know, whether it's uh, to leave a job and go to another job, maybe you're working two jobs, or uh, this could be in relationships or family and something that's going on in your life. You're being pulled in two directions. And you may, you might be moving or laying some new foundations at this time or kind of getting together with people, like-minded people to work on something together, okay? But at the same time, here's the Nine of Pentacles. And she's very, um, or he, you know, if you're he, is feeling really good, really positive, really confident, you know, kind of proud of where, where you've been able to get at this point, okay? And, but I feel like there's this um, kind of the scale thing, right? Because you have both the chariot and the two of pentacles. And both of these suggest this being pulled in two directions, juggling in some way. So whether you're, oh, 
I switched them. <laughs> Isn't that interesting, eh? You know, what does it look like when I do that? Because, you know, you could be... It looks like you're juggling something, okay? You're, you're, you're spreading yourself between these two things, all right? And you haven't decided on one or the other. And um, you could be spending time or something doing that. Um, this is an individual decision for you. Only you can make this decision, okay? And, but I got to tell you, that there's something about it you don't like. Like I said, there's something about it you don't like about yourself in, in it, okay? It could bring you a lot of success. You're going to gain victory over this, okay? But in some ways it could... Um, I, I, I just don't think you're feeling good about it. I don't know why, you know, even though this could be good for you. You just, you don't feel good, good about it, okay? I'm not sure why. So let's move on. In the present, you have the hanged man, strength, nine of swords, page of cups, and the seven of pentacles. Now the hanged man and the nine of swords were both in reverse. And I don't really like to read in the reverse, although I do at times. But I'll tell you both angles, okay? So in the upright angle, it's saying that um, there's something that you need to sacrifice. You need to give up um, for something better, okay? It's for the greater good. And this is going to require strength and trust, but again, you're not feeling good about it. In fact, you're kind of, um, you're beating yourself up about it because you feel either guilty or you feel you're having anxiety, you can't sleep, you know, something's bothering you in this situation, okay? Um, you, you might know what someone's doing and it could be not right and you and you have and you're having a hard time with it you know or something like that something's not sitting right with you okay but with what's going on the other side of that if it were reversed is that you are not willing to give up you know you you're not willing to give this up you're you're it also will require strength and it seems like you're not going to feel guilty about it either. You're not going to sweat it. You're not going to um, let it uh, destroy you or, or, you know, you, you're trying to make the best with what you have. Okay, we get, we're, we're holding a hand of cards and we're trying to make the best hand out of the five cards we got, you know? And so this is kind of your situation. You're, you're trying to make the best of what you have here, all right? Um, also, it requires trust again. Like I said, there's something to do with trust here. Um, I think that you, there's, could be something new in a relationship in some way and you're wanting to, um, express yourself, you know, th this could be with a friend or, or, uh, something like that. And you're just, could be just getting to know this person. And so you, you're willing to share. Anyway, you're like sharing and getting to know someone. It feels new. It feels new, okay? But on the other hand, and here we go with this teeter-totter, teeter-totter here, okay? It is a seven of pentacles. And a seven of pentacles is you want something out of what you put your time into, okay? If I'm going to invest, I want something out of it. And, and it's not a selfish thing, you know, it's, it's, um, 
and it's not a guarantee because there is there isn't any guarantees but you're smarter now you know you're the nine of pentacles you're smarter now you haven't gotten there by making stupid moves and i think in some ways you're trying to make the right moves here okay and you you know you got to think about the oops you got to think about the long cold winters and 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 what you have because this person is looking for their investment okay i've invested time energy money into this and i am expecting something out of it you know kind of thing like that when we plant seeds, we expect a flower to grow, a plant to grow. And when nothing happens, you think, what did I do wrong? Okay, did I not water it enough? Did I, do, you know, you know, you go through the thing. And so here this person is um, wanting the fruits of their labor, is the old saying. So whatever you enter into, that's something that you're thinking about. You know, what am I getting out of this? Is this worth my effort? Is this... You know what I mean? My time and all that. And in the future, you have the two of rods. Um, let me look back here. You, Yeah, you started with the two. Well, no, you started with the chariot, but you have the two of pentacles here too. And twos are kind of um, a choice time. You know, it's when we, uh, it could be a meeting and, but it's also a choice time. We need to choose, you know, will we go this way or that way? And you're kind of having a hard time deciding. Now, twos are also a planning time. You know, when the ace is the idea and or the offer and the two is the plan. You know, can this work? Can this be realized? And the three is when we take it and, and put it into action. So this two of rods is you're kind of trying to make a choice, trying to think what is your best option. And neither, they all look the same. They all look the same, you know, like, so. Um, and then we have the queen of swords. And so this is your energy or someone else around you. This could be Aquarius, another Aquarius, Gemini or Libra. But the energy is, um, um, this person is very spiritual and very emotional. However, they may seem cold on the outside. They could seem abrupt maybe. Um, but it's this protection, you know, she wears that fur coat, right? And it's winter, it seems very cold. And um, she likes it like that. <laughs> Dude, this could be a man as well, eh? But anyway, um, it, it, the coat kind of hides how vulnerable she actually is, right? But she likes to speak the truth and she likes to hear it. And be careful when you ask her what, what she thinks, because she will tell you. <laughs> um, but you are feeling more empowered somehow at this time. Like, you, 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 I think you do maybe take some time to think you're not sure what to do, okay? And then I think that you use logic. You're trying to be logical here. You're going to use your head. It's what is the wise thing for me to do? What is the wise choice? All right. So what you may choose to do is to um, either sneak off in the night or this doesn't have to be a negative card. Sometimes it's getting the upper advantage, trying to figure out what the best, like I said, what the best move is here for you, you know. And um, this person is sneaking off in the night with the loot and the information, you know. And, and it, it, so it suggests something secretive here. There's something secretive happening. You're doing it or they're doing it. So there could be some sneaky behavior, maybe something that you don't necessarily know about, you know. But I'm not sure if it bothers you. 
I'm not sure if it bothers yet at all because I'm not seeing a lot of, you know, cups down here or, or major swords where you're just feeling, you know. I kind of feel like you're going with your intuition. This is what you're deciding. You're going with your gut. You're, you're listening to yourself, you know. And I also think that you're not necessarily giving away all the knowledge that you keep because the high priest is along with the high priest. You got them both side by side to end your reading here for November, Aquarius. So you have the priest and the priestess. Oops, I did it opposite. Priestess and the priest. <laughs> but so there's higher knowledge here and this just it's not just from books you know this is from life okay and um she does not necessarily reveal all she knows and and if she does she does it at the right time you know during a full moon is not necessarily the right time to give someone bad news, like, you know, that sort of thing. It's, it's, there's a time and a place and a right and a wrong, you know, everything. And so the, the high priestess is very wise about such matters. And she does carry a lot of secret knowledge. Not everybody knows, but she knows, you know what I mean? The secret keeper kind of thing. And, um... She is in very in touch with the with the planetary energy. Now the high priest is more the scholar. You know, this is more the scholar version. You could be taking a course. You could be moving up in the world in, in a sense where you're getting um, moving to a higher position, you know, um, over people or guiding, supervising people, helping people. Um, you could be going to a, 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 a guide yourself, you know, this is a priest, this is your, per, your higher person that you're getting in touch with. And there's male and female here too, eh? you know. Um, it also says you could start working for an institution like, you know, um, the university, the hospital, something like that. Um, but also becoming more spiritual, going to church, um, maybe to a, um, you know, d trying Buddhism or uh, some sort of spiritual, because this is spiritual ascending, the Hierophant. You know, we've gained some knowledge here. We've figured something out. We've matured, you know, and... And not and you get you have the key in some way to something now. You're holding the key. You feel powerful because like there's so like the Queen of Swords, the High Priestess, and the Priest, you know? These are also the ultimate couple, these two. The ultimate couple. Um but these two are more they're more helpers, you know, the high priestess and the and the, the hierophant. They're they're helpers, they're guides. They're kind of like the crone, you know, and the druid that help all the people in the land. They have a vision, right? Anyway, now to the cartomancy. This is very interesting. So I'm gonna tell you right away, uh, Aquarius, that there are things coming to conclusion in your life. You have three tents. So you have doors closing in a lot of areas in your life here, okay? And they come right off the bat. And there's a lot of talk. I see a lot of perhaps flirting. Um, it could be around home or at a home. Um... So there's a lot of conversation, a lot of talk. It could be a lot of um, well, it says ambitious talk, you know, like um, I'm kind of thinking, you know, when we're talking about, oh, if I had that, I could do this. And oh, we could do that. And then there's that. 
and so it's a lot of talking about planning and stuff but not the you're not the action yet it's the talk okay talking about big plants big plants all right this is what i say but it also talks about you concluding something and it could be where you live okay um you also have the six of spades okay so first of all i should tell you that was the eight of hearts ten of clubs eight of diamonds And then you have, and there's a lot of talk about ending something, concluding something, you know, a, a new beginning. And then you have the six of spades, the ten of hearts, and the ten of spades. So there's <laughs> this, there's a step backwards happening. You're, you're taking a step back to be, to give, to get happiness. Okay, so it feels like a, it feels like the hanged man, you know, where we have to give something up for the greater good. Sometimes we have to give up smoking so we don't get heart disease or we have to give up, you know, something that you maybe you enjoy or that you love. Right. And but it's. There's a barrier, there's some sort of barrier um, to this ending okay um I th you know it also could it, when it happens it also could be really difficult uh, or but i mean really quick you know when it's sudden kind of thing sudden but you, you it seems like you're up and down again it's this back and forth eh? it's it's i think it's hard for you i think you're going to be happier you're doing it to be happier um, but it, I, it's, it's very sudden and it, and it feels like you have to give up something or take a step back in some way. Okay. Because, or with someone, you know, um, so then you have the eight of clubs, the ace of hearts and the queen of diamonds. This is talk about a new beginning, starting a new relationship, okay? And this talk, this talk is like negotiating, you know, you're, you're, someone could be negotiating with you or you, them, or back and forth either way, um, about this new beginning, right? Um, this is definitely love talk, I'm going to tell you, negotiating some sort of love talk here, um, also it could be again around the home, the ace of hearts, the ace of clubs and the 10 of clubs are my home cards, you know? And so, um, or the other thing, the ace of hearts is talking about having a baby for some of you, you might be talking baby talk and about c contemplating having a baby because we, have the mother card this is can be the mother or the grandmother some i usually see her as mature she's a mature woman it could be a man too she could have green gray or very pale blue eyes she could be gray or platinum hair or, or, or white hair but she's seen as mature over 50 okay and um or the mother you know, mother type figure. So this is either talking about a new relationship, a new home, or a new baby. Okay. And negotiating this, this with this queen of diamonds, whoever this is in your life. Could be father too, you know, could be the dad, or the mom. This could be your mom, you know, Aquarius. Um, anyhow, the last set you have, oh no, wait a minute. I just picked that up from there. No, that's not right. This goes next. So then you have the six of clubs, the eight of spades, and the six, or the five of diamonds. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking at it backwards. 
So this is kind of interesting because, you know, there's there's a lot of change happening in your life in this next coming month and the, up to the end of the year, to tell you the truth. And I think there's some things ending for you. Could be what you do for a living, um, where you're living, um, relationships, friendships, I'm not sure. But I feel like there's a few things changing and you're doing a lot of communicating, maybe talking to your friends, getting support. Um, I feel like um, you're t talking about what your plan, what you'd like to do, some of the plans you want to have. And in here, um, and like back here, I was saying you're going to take a step back, but this is for something that you want for more happiness. You got to take a step back to get this happiness or something. Here, you're taking a step forward. Okay, six of clubs. This is, I feel like, um, you may, okay, so you might be doing more, getting more work or be getting busier in some way. Okay, your time is stretched in more directions, perhaps. And someone doesn't like it you know they're they're expressing their uh concern about it okay um also you could be getting more money in some way um or more valuables okay um again i feel like there's negative feedback or something about uh, the progress that you're making okay I don't know if it's coming from others or yourself but there's like I said there's some sort of negative feedback coming but you're making progress you know there's some sort of progress that you're making here and then your last ones are oops the five of clubs the seven of hearts and the two of clubs so the five of clubs again is um also too with the six of clubs back here you could be um moving up in business like um getting more responsibility or or a, a whole new level like you could go from secretary to assistant manager kind of thing like that you know where it's very different the job you know but um anyway so because I feel like your I also feel like um there's something I feel like it's something physical okay this is and I also feel like there's some some sort of jealousy or envy you could be the jealous person they could be the jealous person and it's uh, a regarding this meeting or these meetings okay so this is usually a work meeting this is usually getting together to or to team up a partnership right but there could be jealousy in this partnership you could be getting more work or than the other person or or um, opportunity perhaps I also feel like th there's um, someone could be jealous of your looks basically it looks to me it could be your looks okay because it feels physical this does it feels like someone's jealous of your body your you're pretty or you're um, or how, the kind of maybe your reputation, how much work you get. Okay, you're getting the jobs, something like that. Um, maybe they want to partner with you in work and or or you do with them, something like that. And I think it's okay, you know, I think that you, it's not a heavy thing. Okay, it's not a heavy thing, this jealousy it could be an attraction you know someone could be attracted to you and that you work with you know maybe something like that 
Anyway, I feel like there's some sort of meeting. You're going to get together, work together, or partner. And it also could be a relate like this one of these relationships here. Okay. Obviously, you're making a choice somewhere here and you're going to partner and work on on that you know one of the issues in the relationship could be jealousy though somebody could be very jealous or something like that and you might have to you know figure that out <laughs> so you'll have to let me know Aquarius this is very interesting I want to remind you though of the very first card is the magician so you have the capability of manifesting what you want what do you want, Aquarius? What do you want? What do you really want in your life? What does your picture look like? Okay? Because in the end, you know, you have these two who are very smart. There's a lot of wisdom here. Okay? A lot to learn, too. And, and this is really trusting yourself, right? Right? knowing yourself, trusting yourself, trusting your whoever you look to for guidance. And and the the queen of swords and the queen of swords makes wise moves. She also is very wise, very smart. She's incredibly um she's a genius really, but I I don't think everyone knows it. And the other thing is, is that she's very strategic. So this, you could be making some sort of strategic um, moves at this point, which I suspect you are. Okay, so let me know, Aquarius. I hope this helps you out in the month to come. And I want to say happy Halloween coming up in a few days. Um, I'm celebrating with some girlfriends in the backyard around the fire, and it should be fun. Love you bunches. Comment if it uh, resonates for you. And like, share, and subscribe. And if you want a reading, uh, just contact me at tinkertarotreadings at gmail.com. Anyway, talk to you later. Bye now.